Hello, Internet friends. Back again with another uh, kind of topic video. It's not so much a training commentary, but really quickly I'll talk about what happened in this workout just to get it out of the way. Um, basically, it was uh, some simplified deadlifts, sets of five at 80%, 82%, and 86% of my current assumed beltless max, which I put around 730 um, based on the last couple of weeks of volume work. Uh, worked up, everything felt pretty smooth, got up to 625, and on the third or fourth rep I got a little lightheaded just because my breathing was uh, not sufficient. Um, I think I just got a little hyped up on it and uh, got a little lightheaded before the fifth rep but everything ultimately was moving very well and I finished all my sets from empty bar up to the last rep of uh, 625 for five beltless in under about 45 minutes so that was about where I was at. Um, bench press again I am not pursuing the loading too crazily on that right now still kept the weight relatively light and manageable because I want to be able to add weight to it in the next couple of weeks uh, kind of changing my approach and that thought process is what I really want to talk about so the idea of um, comparing the the benefits I guess the benefits and the drawbacks of pursuing uh, rapid times of, of rapid sharp improvement versus a more sustained a slow burn, kind of slow and steady option. So imagine that you had two lifters that were the exact same. Um, they're clones of each other. Ignore any external factors. They have the exact same scenario. The only thing that's different is one of them uh, pursues kind of the, the fast progression with constantly hitting those PRs, constantly doing that. And the other one um, is a more slow approach, kind of a grindier, steady, long road kind of mentality. So you're going to have the first lifter, they're going to make progress faster, right? It's easier to make progress. If someone had a gun to your head and said, put 50 pounds in your squat in the next three months or else I kill you and your whole family, you're going to find a way to make your squat go up. You know, you're going to break yourself down. You're going to run small of times two or something crazy to make that happen. The second option is not going to have that same level of initial progress but what tends to happen is that first person is going to have this rapid spike of growth and then once they get to where it kind of slows down they're gonna run into a wall they're gonna hit a pretty hard plateau you can't PR every week you can't continue to linear progress at a fast rate forever. It just doesn't happen. It, the better you get, the longer it takes to get better. And so they're going to go from this spike of really good feelings, all this awesomeness going on where you're hitting all these PRs and everything feels like you're on cloud nine to a really difficult time. Those, those higher peaks always have the lower valleys and you have to deal with that emotionally, mentally, all those things are going to be going against you at that point. You have the second lifter though. And this is the way that I treat my clients when I'm coaching. This is the way I'm trying to get myself back to because it always ends up going better when I just have this slow and steady approach. When I take a little bit, weight, little bit of weight off the bar initially, focus on keeping your technique solid, focus on improving everything that you can, and only moving up once you have mastered that other level. And it takes a lot longer. It's not going to have the rapid spikes of progress. But what you're going to limit is the amount of time that you spend at that plateau range where you run into that wall and then you have to find a way to cope with that mentally and try to work around that because you're tending to when you get to those higher levels when you get to those heavier weights when you get to that 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 point where it becomes more difficult you have a better set of tools because you haven't sacrificed uh, kind of that you haven't sacrificed the important things that come like technical proficiency. And I'm not telling you to be the guy who says, oh, well, you know, you're, you're swinging your body a little bit on your curls. So those don't, uh, you know, you're not getting optimal muscle activation. Sometimes you just have to go in and, and in the individual session, you're going to work hard regardless. But the overall approach has to reflect what your goals are. And I am, for one, a big advocate of a more slow, thoughtful and steady approach, because in the long run, you're going to suffer less when it comes to those when it comes to those valleys and you're gonna still have a higher chance of reaching an even higher level the bigger the base the higher the peak that's just that's just how it goes and so I would encourage anybody watching this who's uh, you know frustrated with their progress just remember that if you're doing it right it's gonna pay off way bigger in the end than someone who's trying to rush it and you outrun your body's ability to adapt then you're stuck with what are your options something like 
drugs or depression. So let's just try to avoid that um, if you can. I also want to try something new on this video. Uh, I got a lot of good responses from the, it's nice to see people are still paying attention to these things, but uh, on some topics, tomorrow I want to make a video that isn't a training commentary, and I just want to talk to you guys, but I couldn't pick a topic out of the ones that were given, there were so many good ones, so I picked three of kind of the most common questions, and I'm going to let you guys go ahead and vote for that in the comment section down below, so take a look at those lists, either injuries, uh, how to prevent them or overcome them if you're if you're dealing with one. Um, my personal training history is going to be number two, and then number three. What did I say? Uh, I'm not reading it now because I'm just doing the commentary and it's a blank screen. So whatever the third one is, that's also an option. Um, but hopefully you guys come to a general consensus of what you'd like to hear, and it doesn't mean the other two will never get talked about. This is just going to be the order of priority for right now. So I hope you're all doing well. But I'm rambling, so I'm going to sign off this time, and I will talk to you all very soon. Have a great day. Bye.